Happy Friday, everybody. It's Chelsea Whittington, and I am so happy to be able to spend my Friday somewhere that I am very familiar with someone with whom I'm very familiar. We're at Edgewater Health. I am here with my friend and colleague, Latanya Woodson, who is the Director of Community Health Education here at Edgewater Health. Tanya, it is 2023. Yes. And it is time. <laughs> I know you have already hit the ground running. I have already hit the ground running. <laughs> and so I'm so glad you've taken a few minutes with me on a Friday afternoon to give me the deets on some things that are happening with Edgewater. Now, it's no secret that in the community, um, we had had a previous idea of the services being provided by Edgewater Health. Yes. And it was more centered around behavioral health. Yes. Since then, you all have taken leaps and bounds to expand the offerings around health care in our community, and I've committed to go along for the ride, okay. if you will. thank you for that. You are welcome. I sent out an email to a few friends of mine okay. earlier today to talk about an exciting program that you're launching for the new year, Mind, Body, and spirit. spirit. Yes. That just spoke to me. I know, right? Yes, yeah, so we're, we're just so excited that. about this program. Okay, well, tell because us about you know, it. I personally believe that addressing your health is so much more than just from a medical perspective. Yes. Um, you also have to address it from uh, another component, mm -hmm. which is self-care. Yeah. And you know, you and I go way back, always talking about, oh, I'm on this type of program, I'm exercising and things like that. It's a journey. It's a journey. And it never ends. Yeah. But the total self, the total self. is what Edgewater has endeavored to address. And yes. I think that is so, so, yes. so important. Yes. So yes. it's kicking off soon. Give it's us the details. It's It's actually our CEO and president, Dr. Danita Johnson hey, Dr. will be Johnson. Kick, yes will be kicking off our mind body and spirit next Friday okay. January 27 mm -hmm. 12 o'clock noon here at Edgewater Health mm -hmm. normally it will be every third Thursday of mm -hmm. each month mm -hmm. but we wanted to do something special or yeah. we wanted to do make it huge yes. and so everyone is still connecting on with the work because it takes a moment yeah. mind, body, spirit, wait a minute yeah. that's something different and when, when I received the information I said oh this is going to be well received yes. and so with January always being that month that we are level setting, mm -hmm. resetting, getting mm -hmm. back into the mm -hmm. office, I'm glad that you all have taken the entire month month yes. to do the promotion for it for Friday, one week from today. And I'm so glad that we're allowed to be able to come on site or yes. watch it virtually. So we're actually in our classroom where we hold many of our educational classes and trainings for the community. Okay. And um, the address to Edgewater is 1100 West 6th Avenue. But once you come on our campus, feel free to use our parking lot on the 5th um, Avenue side of the building. Okay. So we're right there in the lobby. We have great access, the community, our clients, patients, anyone that you know mm -hmm. that need to have this information, I would say share the information. Well, we will definitely be here, definitely broadcasting live too, mm -hmm. because you have some who actually admire Edgewater from, from afar. Yeah. And so they will be able to watch it online. And mm -hmm. if they get a chance, don't get a chance to attend or even watch it live, they can go back and watch it yes. right on the Edgewater Facebook page. So I have to stop and give a shout out to your executive director and my friend and colleague, Dr. Johnson, in that she recently released her book. Yes. And uh, she's been Lose on this worldwide her, tour. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she not too long had her book signing with uh, Val Warner, which was uh, absolutely wonderful. Yes. Yes. Congratulations. So she has been promoting her new book. Congratulations, Dr. Johnson. And I have to say, she is just a, a strong supporter of women and empowering other, other, other women. women. Yes. And, you know, I just love that about her. Yes, so. me too. Mm -hmm. So when she presents on this coming Friday, next Friday, um, what is her topic? Something about what you've never had. Discovering what you already have. Discovering what you that, already what have. What you already have. Okay, some hidden talents. Some and hidden attributes. talents. Okay. She, so she's going to give the keys okay. to 
rediscovering maybe someone or maybe there was an experience where you felt that your power has been taken away from you. Mm -hmm. You have lost your voice. Mm -hmm. I know there was a time, if I can be transparent, that I felt that I lost my voice, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. So she's going to be here giving us the keys to rediscovering what you already have. I love That's it. That's powerful. That is very powerful. <laughs> and I know that she has been in our community serving for so long. And so she has all these different networks, all mm -hmm. this experience. And so I'm going to be all ears. Yes. I mean, I'm going to hit Me record too. and live, and then I'm going to be a student be like, okay. in the class. So, and that's you. the great thing about it. Yeah. You know, having your uh, leader, uh -huh. you know, jump right in there with you, mm -hmm. connecting with the community. Yes, absolutely. So, how did you come up with the name, or did you or the team come up with the name Mind, Body, and Spirit? Well, collectively, we worked as, as a team. Okay. And with so many things that's going on in our world, we, you know, of course, everyone needs to know self management as far as what to do as far as a heart disease or mm -hmm. diabetes prevention yeah. or obesity, weight management, but you never really hear anyone connect to emotional wellness. Yes, and I will tell you from a personal standpoint, when we have our team meetings, before I even start to jump in and you know I'm all task mm -hmm. faster ready to get the mm -hmm. work done, I'm like, let's do a wellness check. Mm -hmm. How are you feeling? You what's, feeling? what's going on with you? And it's so funny that you mentioned that because I was speaking to someone uh -huh. and I you know, generally just ask you know, someone what's their perspective mm -hmm. about uh, mind, body, and spirit. Mm -hmm. And they say, you know what, I really hate when I see someone, they say, hey girl, how you doing? And I say, how you doing? But we keep going. We don't Never, even wait for the answer. We don't even <laughs> well, She said, I really hate that. Uh -huh. I said, I know. Uh -huh. Because it's, sometimes you need to know. Uh -huh. You know what? How are you? Really? How are you doing? How you doing? Well, I am looking forward <laughs> to this mind, body, and spirit. If you're just tuning in, we are here at Edgewater on a Friday afternoon. I'm chatting with my colleague, mm -hmm. my friend. Yes. Latanya Woodson, Director of Community Health Education for Edgewater Health. And we are jumping off Mind, Body, and Spirit next Friday with Dr. Danita Johnson at 12 noon right here. So you should meet us here and also share this video. Now, certainly, surely, that's not the only thing going around and no. going on in these parts. In fact, you and I just jumped off a call for something else that's happening yes. and we're getting ready in yes. February. Yes. What might that be? That's a, a community health and um, education um, uh, and wellness health fair that we're going to be uh, connecting with the faith-based community. Okay. And we're going to be talking a lot about um, the importance of getting your vaccination, mm -hmm. uh, influenza va uh, vaccine, mm -hmm. and making sure your children's records are up to date oh, and receiving information as far as education and wellness as well. Okay. Because again, we're about wellness. We're yes. about preventive care. Yes. And we're Keyword preventive. Preventive care. Yeah. All the time we talk about how do we get uh, treatment, treatment, treatment. Well, mm -hmm. how do we not have to get treatment? Exactly. And that's taking the necessary steps with our health mm -hmm. prior to mm -hmm. checkups and, and just, you know, screenings and yes. vaccinations. And mm -hmm. so that is set for Saturday, February 25th. He, at St. Saint Saint Timothy, Timothy Community Church. Right, right there in the community, right across the street from Walgreens. Yes, 1600 right. West 25th Avenue. Right. You know, they always tell me, say the right address. Say right. Stop saying 25th and Grant. And Even thank you to uh, Pastor Jackson yes. for allowing us to come in and connect. Yes. You know, with the faith-based community. And we're gonna be connecting with so many other communities and also Edgewater. Um, we recently, well, last year, we uh, moved to uh, Cedar Lake. We opened up a clinic I in was Cedar there. Lake. I was there, yes. And that was an awesome experience. We're doing chat and chews in Cedar Lake, okay. and we are meeting with the senior population. Oh, yes. Uh, that's a critical, that's critical. A very critical. Piece of our population, yes. yes. Uh, we also have other programs. Uh, one of our other programs that was very successful, Hour of Power. Yes, and so that's Everybody what that made me think about talking about. Our yes, hour. so mind, body, and spirit with that monthly interaction yes. for an hour, and 
I think that that's this is a perfect segue with my body and spirit to yes. do that on a monthly basis. And then do you, does your community or the people we serve have the opportunity to weigh in on what topics we'll talk about with mind, body, and spirit? Is there any? Of course, yes. of course. Uh, we're always open to suggestions because, again, we're here to serve the need of the community. Yeah. So if there's someone, they're here for a program, we get many of our ideas just with sitting down, speaking to our patients, our clients, yeah. the community, you know, people that come in for our uh, topics and our presentations. They say, hey, you know, I've been having a problem with thus and so. Mm -hmm. And you know, we gather as a team yeah. and we talk about it and say, hey, let's engage and put this into action. I love the fact that you in, involve the community. I remember one hour of power in particular that was extremely powerful when we had the discussion about depression. Yes. And there were some testimonials in the mm -hmm. room and those who were just sharing mm -hmm. that they were hitting walls and rock mm -hmm. bottom and thinking about self-harm and mm -hmm. that's why these types of discussions it's are so critical important. yeah and it's a safe place and i want to say this i attended a church service a, a few months ago and the pastor was speaking to the uh, to his congregation and it was prayer time mm -hmm. and he said anyone that needs prayer if you have an ailment or if there's, you know, something that is going wrong with you physically, you know, come up for prayer. So a few people came up for prayer. Yeah. Then he said, anyone that is being attacked mentally, mm. if you're depressed, if you're thinking about harming yourself, if you are in a situation where it's a violent situation, or you're having issues with your relationship, come up for Wow. Over half of the church went wow. for prayer. Wow. So I'm like, okay, this is a need. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And no one really wants to talk about it. Oh, no. It's very it's taboo, taboo, particularly in communities of color. Exactly. It's and, like, and, and I'm still like, wow. I understand the why, but yeah. I don't understand the why. Exactly. Because we see it all the time. Therapy should not be taboo. We can talk about it. We should be able to say, I'm not okay. I'm talking to somebody. And be okay with saying, yeah, I'm, not okay. I'm not okay. And not feeling like someone is looking at you weird. Right. Like, okay. It's right. Something going on. <laughs> something going on with me. So, Edgewire is working so hard to change that narrative, and I'm yes. so glad to be a part of Mind, Body, and Spirit. Next Friday, January 27th, right here, Edgewater Health, you'll get the opportunity for one whole hour to spend it with the one and only Dr. Danita Johnson. She has a word to talk to us about how we discover attributes that we already have. Already I can't have. wait to hear her speak. And then mark your calendars for Saturday, February 25th, 10 a.m. at St. Timothy Community Church. And I'm so glad we are connecting with the faith community because yes. to me, as a woman of faith, mm -hmm. and knowing that we have an abundance of churches in our community, yes. we have ready-made audiences yes. of individuals who need who, who, who need the services. service, who needs the help. Yeah. Um, and also, um, Edgewater Health, we're conducting our community assessment survey. Okay. Please, please, please go to our website, edgewaterhealth.org and take the survey because with you taking the survey, you've given us the opportunity to hear firsthand what you feel the needs of the community. Perfect. What we, you know, what we need to do to strengthen our relationship with okay. the community. Well, I will so make please. sure I pass that link yes. around, share that button so that feedback is necessary yes. for you to do a great job. Exactly. Right? exactly. And speaking of great jobs, Latanya, you are doing a great Thank job you. on behalf of the citizens, the residents in Northwest Indiana, keeping us educated about all of the resources that Edgewater Health provides mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. help us with mind, body, and spirit. I want to thank everybody for tuning in. Again, we look forward to having you right here at Edgewater on next Friday, January 27th at 12 noon. And uh, we can follow Edgewater on Facebook. Check out the website. Yes. And I am just excited about I am excited too. I'm so excited about 2023. We have a staff here ready to serve our community. Come on out meet our staff. All right, everybody. We will see you in one week. Thanks for watching.